a retreat with uh, our governors so that we can agree in the first summit and we can agree as the two levels of government on how we are going to support uh, government programs, government projects, government initiatives at both the county and the national level. As I've been explained here um, by the two leaders of majority, we have also um, undertaken that the sibling rivalry that has always been between the two houses and the consequent um, challenges that we've had with legislation of government at the two levels of government will be a thing of the past. The, I want to uh, undertake here that I will not allow any with lawyers, I have already uh, given very clear instructions to government departments and government ministries who, for some reason, one government department takes another government department to court, and we are paying huge to take another government agency to court. Whoever are responsible for the court matters, they will pay using their own money. I will not accept government resources to be used to pay lawyers for one government agency to take another government agency to court. It will not happen. We, we just must be honest and open structures within government for us to sort out uh, unnecessary disputes that sometimes occur in, uh, in government institutions, and we should be able to um, carry out those without necessarily uh, using public resources to take this government, one side of government, and the other side of government uh, to court. that even the matters that are in court, we are going to find a mechanism for an out-of-court settlement so that knowing very well that every arm of government and every level of government Remember the legislature? for providing uh, the opportunity for public uh, cabinet secretaries to be able to come to the floor uh, the, the uh, government policy explain uh, government interventions answer your questions for the benefit of accountability and for the benefit of the people of Kenya. As I undertake, as I undertook, I said we want to run an accountable government. And we want the oversight role of parliament to be our government. That uh, the role assigned to parliament by the constitution must be real and must be effective. And the single reason why I uh, requested that we ask the legislature to make the necessary changes in the wisdom of the House to allow cabinet secretaries to um, uh, uh, government agenda, especially on matters questions in the floor of the House, is because whatever is going on now is simply uh, not right, you know. We have chairmen of committees who are not members of the executive attempting to answer questions 
in Parliament. It completely doesn't make sense. And they have no way of knowing what the executive is doing because they are not members of the executive. You know, they are members of the legislature. So. that weren't quite uh, orderly. And I, I, I want to say that if we were to read the Constitution in a manner in which Aaron said that Parliament should be orderly, I think it is grave disorder for a member of the legislature to execute an agenda of the executive. And therefore, I think it is... Um, giving us the proposal that you have given us on how you think our uh, members can uh, access the floor of the house for purposes of doing what we requested. We have already made adequate arrangements as the executive to do this. That is why the deputy president has uh, uh, introduced to you a whole state department the connection between the executive and the legislature. I know Adam Dwale really struggled. You know, whenever he wanted to talk to the executive on matters that are before the House, he didn't know whether to talk to the AG or to talk to who or to talk to. So we have now provided a channel and uh, uh, the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary will be seized of that responsibility. The State Department will be executing uh, that uh, responsibility. But now you have an office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. The relationship between the executive and the legislature, all the questions will be processed through his office. And I suggest that even as you formulate uh, uh, finally the final uh, details of uh, the amendment to the to the standing orders. I request that his office is engaged so that we can. have a conversation with the uh, uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary and his office because that is the office that will be managing the relations between the executive and the, uh, the legislature in the manner in which that uh, will be agreed between uh, the two uh, levels of, uh, of uh, between the legislature and the executive at the national level and again, to our good friends, uh, governors, we are also elevated the relationship between the national government and the county government to the office of the deputy president. Initially, we had it at a ministry level, and it had challenges because uh, many of the issues raised by the council are cross-cutting in ministries, and you need an office that has the capacity to cross-cut government. And that is why I deliberately assigned that responsibility and that State Department to the office of the Deputy President to give it the uh, level that is uh, requisite for us to be able to serve and work with our counties in an appropriate and easy manner. So, 
again, uh, you have been introduced to the officers who will be uh, in charge of that, uh, of that exercise, and the deputy president himself will oversight and make sure that the relations between the national government and the counties is to the best of the working relations that we all anticipate. Uh, and again, in conclusion, is to just appreciate uh, yeah, I appreciate that uh, we've been here now, it is 2 30. So, what I will do is while we go for lunch. I think some appropriate guidance has been given. At the very least, I am asking the number for the chair of the committee that is aligned to your ministry. Let's start there. If you don't manage to get the numbers of all the other uh, chairs, but at least let's get the number for the chairs of the line departmental committees. Let me also uh, request that at the very least, take the number of the chair of the Council of Governors who is aligned to your ministry, trade, water, and all, and all that, so that at least we have a beginning. Uh, uh, consequently, uh, uh, it would be advisable to have the numbers of all the governors. As I said yesterday, uh, good governors, I have given very clear direction to my team that their business is not to sit in offices in Nairobi only, that they serve the whole country. So you will see more. And I appreciate uh, the time that we've all spent uh, uh, thinking together and working together and as one, as has been said. The executive, we deliver. County government, now we are delivering as one, as the two levels of government and our. That is the spirit, and I look forward to working with uh, both levels of government and also working with our legislature, both at the Senate and at the National Assembly levels. So to all of us, I want to say thank you very much. We wish you the very best. The rest of us who are members of the National Executive will come back for our session in the afternoon, but uh, all of us are now welcome uh, for lunch. I think, Mr. Deputy President, I think we have now earned. Yeah, yeah. and, and, uh, and uh, the, uh, we have now, we now, we've now earned, we have earned, uh, we've earned lunch. And let me say that uh, the leader of majority at the National Assembly. I saw uh, 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 in your presentation, you said the members of my cabinet will appear at the bar. I hope it is the bar. The, the, the... <laughs> I, I know there are two bars in the parliament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, not the one outside, the one inside. Yeah, I was wondering, what is the, how is it? <laughs> Yeah. So, and uh, I know you have also said that uh, that there will, whenever there are disputes, that the back stops at my desk. I want to assure you that when it gets there, it will find me at the desk, <laughs> and I will deal with it. So, uh, Asante Nisana.
tusimame ndio tuende ni waombe tuende tukule chakula haya tuombe every father we want to thank you for this meeting thank you for bringing these leaders to this meeting our governors and our members of uh, parliament father we want to commit this to your good hands help us heavenly father to do all our plans for you help us at the county and at the national level for all of us uh, to deliver to the people of kenya we pray for these plans that you will help us execute them uh, in accordance with what we have committed to the people and most importantly in accordance with your will we pray for the food that is uh, served before us uh, bless the food and bless our discussions and fellowship in jesus name we resume at 3.15. We resume at 3.15.